Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I said earlier. <clears throat> I think the Christmas tree coming today and the turkey being part in this far more exciting than anything I can say, but I'll take a few questions. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> President Trump said that the intelligence report on Jamal Khashoggi's killing, he expected it early this week. Can we expect it today? I think you should just go back to what the president said, which is he's waiting for the final report. Obviously, you saw the sanctioning of 17 individuals already. And the president has said it's a complete tragedy. He's been looking for answers. He's directed everybody to go and get those answers, including the secretary of state, um, almost immediately following the, the, president the murder. The president also seems to be ruling out a sit-down interview with Robert Mueller. Does he feel more emboldened now? Does he feel like he has more leverage now that Matt Whitaker effectively oversees the Russian investigation? It's got nothing to do with the acting attorney general, Jeff. It has everything to do with the fact that the president continues to say what he said all along, which is there is no Russia collusion. And also he and about 30 plus others have, I suppose, been asked to produce information, whether that's written information or come in for an oral interview under oath. So we could not have been more compliant. I'm going to continue to stand here and say it. 1.4 million pieces of paper and counting 33 individuals we read in the paper have uh, been complying and he's been complying also. His attorneys have, <clears throat> I guess, counseled him that he should submit those answers in writing and he has, but he's not afraid to sit down. It just doesn't seem necessary. It doesn't rise to that level.